Welcome to the BetMGM studio and Titans All Access with Amy Wells. I'm Mike Keith and General Manager John Robinson is already here. We're going to be talking ball presented by Duncan. And what we're talking about is December ball. The calendar has turned to December and when December arrives, John, your Titans team, since you've been GM, have taken it to a different level. To play well in December for the Titans, what are you going to need to see? Well, I think that's the time of the year. This is the time of year, Mike, when we, you know, we lean into kind of what we fundamentally believe in. Uh, it's playing a tough style of football. You know, it's a little colder out. Those hits sting a little bit more. Uh, so you try to put a little extra, you know, oomph when you're trying to, you know, get a guy on the ground as a tackler or block a guy um, to get the run game going or protect the pass. Um, I think that's kind of what we try to do this time of year. Um, lean into that mindset uh, more than anything. Titans fans are buzzing about rookie wideout Traylon Burks and his statistics have been pretty great. But beyond that, what is sticking out to you about him and his play? Well, I think it's it's really the work ethic. I mean, you saw that uh, in the Cincinnati game, him hustling downfield to recover the ball in the end zone for a touchdown. Um, we've seen that in practice. Um, just the, you know, the relentless effort play in and play out, trying to get the timing down with Ryan, uh, getting his landmarks down uh, in the passing game, working on his angles uh, in, in the run game to make sure he gets his guy blocked. It's really the effort that he's put in uh, that's really starting to pay off for him. Your first December opponent, Philadelphia, their quarterback, Jalen Hurts, last Sunday night set a franchise record for rushing yards. When it comes to defending a quarterback like Jalen Hurts, where do you start? Uh, it's hard. You know, it's uh, he's he's having an outstanding year. Um, he's really got a unique skill set as a dual threat player. Um, you know, you saw it in that game. He's able to make yards uh, running the football. He's really good with the ball in his hand. He's elusive. He's fast, uh, and he's good throwing it too. You know, he's almost 70% uh, completion rate. He's got weapons to throw too. So. Uh, he's a dangerous player right now. Now Mike took the low-hanging fruit because everybody talks about Philadelphia's offense, but their defense has actually been ranked higher throughout the season. What makes them so good? Well, I think it all starts up front. You know, they've got a lot of guys on that line. Um, you know, starting with Fletcher Cox, who's been, you know, his entire career there. Him and Hargrave are playing really well in the interior of the defensive line. Uh, they just added Limble Joseph and Sue. Uh, and there are two bigger guys that have played a lot of football. Williams, the draft pick from a couple years ago out of La Tech. Um, he's a quick, active player who's really playing well. They rotate those guys on the edge. You know, they signed Reddick in the offseason. They signed Reddick as, off, uh, as a pass rusher. Uh, Sweat's having a good year. They traded for Robert Quinn. And they've got two great corners uh, in Slay and Bradbury on the outside uh, that firm up the coverage. Philadelphia is 10-1, and one, and they've gotten a ton of national publicity. So we've heard over and over again about all their stars. When you watch them on tape, though, what do you need to talk about about the Philadelphia Eagles that isn't discussed enough? Well, I think it's the multifaceted components that they're uh, using on offense and on defense. There's different personnel groupings. They're getting to the same type of plays, but doing it with different people on offense. And defensively, it's different packages with this player kind of playing the same position that the other guy played, but they're changing it up a little bit. Uh, Howie Roseman's done a great job of assembling that team there, and Coach Sirianni uh, in his second year uh, has got him really playing well. The Titans have won plenty of big road games like this one. What's going to be the key to leaving Philadelphia with a win on Sunday? Well, it's another tough road environment. We, you know, we saw it in Green Bay, uh, those fans up there, the Eagles fans, they're really passionate about their ball team. And, um, you know, we've got to go in there and, and play our style of football. We've got to be sound on offense and defense. Uh, got to get the run game going on offense, let the play pass build off that handle of front, uh, which we talked about. Uh, and defensively, it's about containing this rushing attack, whether it's Hurts, uh, Miles, uh, Sanders at, at front and back, Gainwell playing well for them, uh, AJ at receiver, uh, Smitty at receiver. They've got a big veteran offensive line that likes to lean on you. We've got to get off blocks. Uh, and make plays and come away handling that road environment, uh, playing the way we want to play. That would be the right way to start December football is to get a win there. Absolutely, Mike. Well, thank you for kicking us off. Enjoyed it. John Robinson, Talking Ball with us, presented by Duncan.